what's up rts check this out if you got a reefer that's like running really really loud and it's not wanting to get into the negatives chances are the fuel filter is clogged i should have actually did this video before i got into this process but i didn't think of it basically what you'll do and i'll show you after i get done with this part of the video is how to check the rpms if it's running around 2000 2500 or 3000 it's the fuel filter clogged up so i'm going to show you guys how to take it out and how to change it because thermo king wants to charge six to eight hundred bucks and it's a sixty dollar filter so here we go this is the fuel filter to get there you just open your doors pull this little red handle pop this up and if you're short like me you can't reach so you're gonna have to hold it up with your head or something or use a broom handle but anyway this is it so i'm gonna hand it over to my photography assistant basically what you want to do is there's a bolt here if you need a ratchet i've already broke it loose so i'm not going to need to but just turn it with your hand pull down be careful kill me there's going to be diesel in here so it'll spill on you just get it out your way sometimes the fuel filter will come out with you and just easily pull it down if you can and you can look and see this is like completely all cranked up this is the fuel filter it's 61 dollars what it was at this thermal king basically all you do is you take it out actually you can just do it this way you just make sure you got a little tab right there it goes back down in the thing you can press down press down till it seats twist it make sure this arrow is facing that arrow all right look in your thing also they're going to give you a new gasket just pull off the old one put on the new one line your arrow up so that it's facing you press it back on here and just twist until you get it in that groove pull it you'll hear it snap um try to keep your gasket even if it's not even it's not going to leak it, it's a, it's a good lock seal so there you go that's all you have to do you just change your fuel filter you saved rts 800 dollars so will and know if you see this um i expect a bonus i'm just kidding now um the only other part is if i happen to lose prime there's another there's another thing i'm going to have to do so i'm going to pause the video now get down and clean up this diesel that i spilled and i will go back out and show you guys how to prime it if it needs the prime more than likely it's not going to need a prime hit the pause button just shut this up you just put it back down pull your handle back to the right pull your handle back to the left it locks shut this go down shut this and it locks that's all you have to do you pause it hit pause all right now let's see if uh, i lost prime if it don't cr if it don't crank then i lost prime so hopefully i didn't lose prime but basically what it was doing before it was running like super loud it was fast idle all night long like oh, sound like a pulpwood truck not a reefer i mean so when you check the rpms it's running like 2500 to 3000 and it would never cool under 3000 but if you ever get the reefer where it's doing that and then it starts cutting off and giving you like error 26 error 34 check stuff basically what it is is the motor is running so rough because it's not getting the correct fuel that it's tripping out the computer so basically now all i'm waiting to do is see if it'll crank if it cranks it didn't lose prime i'm good to go if it did crank and let's see it's giving me a warning so let's see what the warning is well now it says no alarms so let's see if it cranks
Here's the beep. A moment of truth, fellas and ladies. Uh, there's a few of you out there. Shout out to Mary and whoever else. I don't know everybody else. And there we go. Crump right on up. As long as it don't stop, which it just did. So that might mean that it lost prime. So let's see if... See if um it did it. We'll try it again. Down, select alarms engine stop for no reason restart null basically that just means that it lost prime when i took off the filter so i had to prime the system don't let it sound too daunting because it's not i'm going to show you how to do it i'm going to actually just try to see if it will crank like kind of like a car which it's not because it's not fuel injected so it might not but if it just so happens that i did leave enough diesel in that filter that it does pick it up it will start and it will stop pumping if not i had to prime it but it's not that hard of a task either so i'm going to pause this and well there it goes let's see if it cranks Alright, I'm going to shut it off. That means that it lost prime. So I'm going to show you guys how. Alright, for some reason the other video cut off. But I'm going to show you guys how to prime the unit. Alright, basically what you do is you cut it on. Wait for it to come up till you get control of it. Basically, you're just, just getting back to the main menu before it cranks, or in this case, tries to crank. But you're gonna be using your soft keys right here. It's super simple. And you want to do this before it cranks. So basically what you do is you hit menu. Hold out. Once you get the menu, you hold down the third key, which is blank right here. And then you hit select. No, hold on. Hold down menu, hit exit. I don't know. It's one of those keys. All right, guys, the um, test is finished. Um, I'm putting another clip, but it didn't save, so I'm going to show you basically what I did. Basically, the, the clip finished. All you do is once it's done, you hit clear, all right? Then you hit exit, and you'll get back to your main menu. You're more than likely going to have alarm that said um, output test timer timed out. Basically, you clear that alarm, right? And once you clear that alarm, you're going to get right back to the same menu. It's just like this. When your reefer on, you're going to get the configure and system. Please wait. And then all you got to do is wait to see if it cranks. And basically, like I was saying, once you're waiting for it to crank, the way I knew it was going bad is because the reefer was running like really, really loud and you was getting like 3000 RPMs and it wouldn't cool lower than zero. Um, so, all right, so I'm back. The screen's coming up. Has diesel engine started. If it doesn't start, you may have to do the little primer test. More than likely, you're not gonna have to. So let's see, there's the buzzer. Like a kit. All right, once you crank back up, you're gonna to want to press the second button for gauges.
scroll through your gauges using the next button until you get to engine RPM. If you see right there, my RPM is 1,200. And it was at 2,500 to 3,000. And you can look, it's already starting to cool down. When I actually first started it, seven. So it's already dropped three degrees. So that's all there is to it. I'm gonna try to link these clips together and make a movie. I know I suck at it. It's my first movie. I hope you guys can see. I mean, it's a simple job. If you got any kind of mechanical inclination at all, you can do it. I mean, RTS will pay for you to fix it, but it's like five to 600 bucks for them to do it. And it's a 20 minute job. And that's with the 15 minute primer timer. So it's super easy to do. I mean, who did, you go to a Thermo King and there might be a three or four hour wait. So you're sitting. Go in there, get you a filter, get with a shop, get them to give you a filter. Have an extra one. It won't take you but a second to change it and you're back on the road. Until the next video, I'll see y'all later. Gun runner out.